But first, another day, another pathetic Democrat clown show on Capitol Hill. Now, remember, the party of abortion on demand and now infanticide cares more about the children than you heartless, soulless Republicans. Do you not care? Is it because these children don't look like children that are around you? Have you ever held a deceased child in your arms? First of all, your comments are disgusting. I've served my country for 34 years, and yes, I held a five-year-old boy in my arms that, in back of that tractor trailer. I knelt down beside him and said a prayer for him because I knew what his last 30 minutes of his life were like, and I had a five-year-old son at the time. For you to sit there and insult my integrity and my love for my country and for, the, and for children, that's why this whole thing needs to be fixed. I wanted to give him a standing ovation all day long just for that moment, but there are a lot of them. And what Tom Homan is rightfully pointing out is that the congressman up there, AOC and all of her ilk, refused to accept this crazy concept known as the rule of law. So you are the author of the family separation policy. I am not the author of this memo. You're not the author, but you signed the memo. Yes. You recommended family separation. I recommended zero tolerance. Which includes family separation. The same as is whenever a U.S. citizen parent gets arrested when they're with a child. If I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. Mr. Father Holman, with family. all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. Whoops. Today's hearing was convened by the House Oversight Committee, whose members included three of the four progressive it girls. Now, conjuring up emotion and passion, usually reserved for border crossers gaming our immigration laws, they read from the dog-eared script that demonizes Border Patrol and ICE and forgets about duly passed laws by our legislature. Forget about those. But at a certain point, former acting ICE director Tom Homan had had just about enough. As a 34-year veteran of law enforcement, it is shocking, shocking to see the constant attacks against those that leave the safety and security of their homes every day, put on a Kevlar vest and put a gun on their hip and risk their own safety to defend this nation. They have to wake up every day and see news reports and comments from, rep comments from representatives in Congress that they're Nazis, white supremacists, that they operate concentration camps, that they knowingly abuse women and children. ICE agents and Border Patrol agents are mom and dads, too. They have children. What they see every day in this unprecedented surge of children and families affects them deeply and emotionally. Has any of those who easily attack the men and women of, of the Border Patrol ICE, you ever walked up to one and thanked one for serving their nation? Have you ever had to console a small child or a spouse to a fallen officer? I have too many times. Game, set, match. The only borders the new and radicalized Democratic Party believes in now are those around maybe abortion clinics, keeping sidewalk counselors away from vulnerable women. That's a border they'll enforce. But when have the Democrats ever expressed a smidge, even a little bit of empathy, toward the thousands of victims of crimes or DUIs committed by illegal immigrants, such as Corey Cottrell, who last month was killed when an illegal who had been ordered deported drove drunk and ran him over. His family, including two young daughters, are separated from him forever, not for just a few weeks or a few, few months. So as AOC or any well-known elected Democrat shed one tear for these types of tragedies, ever? Not that I've seen. Instead, they would rather paint America as a gulag for immigrants who are all good and deserving, despite the laws that they do violate and court orders that they brazenly ignore. Our government, at the hands of this administration, has exhibited an incompetence and cruelty that has created a human rights crisis in our own country. They've now gone from denying that there is a crisis to accusing those working to stop it, our border agents of actually creating a culture of cruelty. There is no need for us to arrest innocent people and treat them no differently than criminals when they are pursuing their basic human rights. Calling these um, Auschwitz-style concentration camps, that doesn't help solve the problem. 
Now, to a lot of these Democrats, America, especially when it's being led by Donald Trump, is broken and illegitimate, the whole country. So the laws that Democrats don't like, they too are illegitimate. Joining me now is Congressman Sean Duffy, former NYPD commissioner, Bernie Carrick, and immigration attorney, Gunther Sanabria. It's great to have all of you with us tonight. Gunther, let's start Hello. with you. This hearing was quite something today. Uh, we had Tom Holman, who's, you know, actually put on a uniform, served the country for three decades. Correct. Uh, he's really ticked off, and I think rightfully so, about the broad brush demonization of men and women of Border Patrol, 50 percent of whom are Hispanic Americans. And your reaction to what he said about that demonization? Well, a couple of things, Laura. Number one, I hear uh, Mr. Holman talk about himself, how he feels, how the, the laws are being broken. But I don't hear him say anything about the families. I don't hear him say anything about the children, the mothers. And, and we recently heard of a child, a, a baby, Maria, I think it was her name, that died at, in the custody of immigration. So. I just would like to see Mr. Holman, instead of talking about the nightmares that he had from the memories that he had when he was serving at the, in so the immigration So you're upset that he doesn't have enough emotion? No, he has emotion, but the emotion should be directed towards the children. We're talking about children. We're not talking about adults, criminals. And, and he continues to talk about how he feels and how he felt and how the ICE Patrol yep. agents would feel about so it. So you think I'm when sorry. he is with... If, if, if he's in a situation with a crying child, that he doesn't care about that child. I'm sure he cares, but he does care. We all we all care about all children I who agree. are innocent, who who were brought by people, some of whom were not their family members, trafficked across the border I and agree. used as pawns. We do care about them, he's which is Congress. why we want to asylum reform. He's and in Bernie, Congress testifying. Bernie Can Bernie Carrick, when I was down at Del Rio in Eagle Pass uh, at the end of April, early May, what I saw was appalling. Here's some of the video. People see the Border Patrol boat and they jump with a pool toy or, you know, blow up inner tube because they know our Border Patrol are always going to pick them up. We're always going to rescue them. That's what we do. That's who we are. We don't purposely let people drown. Other countries might do that. We don't do that. But today, and listening to some of these Democrats, no, no, we don't pick them up. And in fact, we want them to suffer. That's not what I saw down there. What I saw was we need to reform this system so people are safe when they apply for asylum and not endangering the lives of children by bringing them thousands of miles from their hometown. Your reaction to this hearing today? I think Tom, Tom Homan should have walked out. That's what I personally think. That's what I would have done. Uh, the, you know, the people that make these comments, these, uh, these members of the House, it's idiotic. Some of these comments are just stupid. The men and women of the Board of Control and, and ICE go out there every day and put their lives on the line to protect this country. The people coming into the country illegally, they are violating federal law. If you don't want those kids separated from their families, if you don't want those kids taken away, then don't come into the country illegally. And if it's all about asylum, Apply for asylum appropriately, within the guidelines of the law. Don't try to break the law and come into the country and then complain because of the outcome of what happens next. Well, uh, as, as we talked about many times, uh, Congressman Duffy, the trip up here is a bad trip. People are sleeping in fields, on cement, on benches, on floors. Occasionally, someone will take them in and they'll sleep uh, on a mat somewhere. But it's not like we're staying at the Ritz on the way up from Central America. That's not how it works. <laughs> exactly. Some are in trucks and buses. So the idea that, that you know, they come to the United States and it's all terrible, it's ridiculous. And it, it's bad, it's, it's overcrowded, but come on. The asylum reform has to happen. Because a lot of them do cross, Congressman Duffy, and when they cross, they are technically following the law, are they not? So what Bernie just said is, you know, it's not quite right, because as, as Gunther said, the, they are pursuing the legal process. The legal process but they should have, is screwed up. They should, have, they, they should apply for asylum in the first safe country they get to, which is Mexico. And you know what burns my backside? I mean, I, I hear Gunther or Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or Democrats, you know, shed tears for what's happening inside of uh, our detention centers, which, by the way, we should improve them. But you're right. They came across the desert. Uh, with with uh, Mexican drug cartels. I would love to have Gunther and Alexander Ocasio-Cortez 
shed a tear for the angel moms We're who will never hug their loved ones any longer, or the little girls or women who are raped on the, uh, on the way across the Mexican desert by drug okay. cartels, or Officer Singh, who lost his life uh, on Christmas Day, who was murdered by an illegal immigrant, um, or, 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 or Leonardo Gonzalez, who had his throat slit in the Mexican desert by the drug cartel and his 10-year-old son faked dead and was found hugging his dad in the desert. When do you shed tear for those people and say, let's fix the problem, close the loopholes, and if you're not going to close the loopholes, Democrats, at least vote to spend the $4.6 billion to the Border Patrol so they can take care of the people that are in the detention centers. But when Cortez doesn't vote for the money and then cries about it, give me a break. This is absolute I, insanity. I think we and it's a I huge think, joke. Yeah, going through quickly, then I got to bring, we got to bring everyone to the big protest tonight. We got, we got an uh, interesting report that we got to get to. I just don't understand how Congress is Duff against say that they come through a safe country that is Mexico and they stay in Mexico. I would like to see Congressman Duffy come through the, through the border and stay in Mexico and start coming to the United States. This is a country that protects uh, refugees, that protects the, 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 those who cannot protect themselves. Mr. Duffy, you, you cannot compare the United States with Mexico as a safe country. That's just not right. You know, see, well, well, I think we've said Mexico is a safe place um, where if, if you're going to get murdered or hurt in Guatemala or El Salvador, when you make it to Mexico, you can Mexico claim asylum there. Mexico is not there. the answer, sir. Uh, I would not stay in Mexico way, if I can come to the United States. You make my point. You make my point. It's a dangerous journey. So don't sit and say it's so horrific in the in a detention center where you get a blanket and a mat what and three you, squares yeah. a day when they were coming across the desert with drug cartels, you know, sleeping um, on the sand. Yeah, Ridiculous. okay, we gotta, we gotta bring everybody to what's happening tonight. There are protests all across the country, immigration protests, uh, and we sent Fox's Leland Vittert uh, to one outside the White House. Watch what happened. But there's nobody but being murdered on the southern border. Yes, children died. How many children have died so far? Six children have died, not six yeah. million people gassed. How is that the same? It's the same, you, you, you separate children from their parents. Okay. What makes him a concentration camp? The number of people concentrated together by race ethnicity. The conditions that these people are being enforced and concentrated with so should they all just be let out? inhumane. I'm not they saying that they like should be let person. out. They should be treated with basic human rights. Look around at the signs. Right. Well, we know... Uh, Gunther, that the basic human rights that we were able to afford them was is limited by how much resources were at the border. And I, I was at the, one of the smaller border crossings, Del Rio. It was teeming. And these guys are like, this is all we have. We, what do they want us to leave, let children roam the streets, just release them? So they're, in a, they're between a rock and a hard place. Now the money's coming in, the kids are being uh, sent out. But you wouldn't have them just release them into the streets, would no, you? No, but the very basic, Laura. I mean, we're talking about children that are getting sick. The, at this, at this sense, some of them are sick when they come, and then they're then then we're seeing right. a spread as we we heard from Dr. Drew all throughout different cities in the United States and, of diseases we thought we had eradicated. And some died, and just because right? one, just because one died, we need to stop it. Uh, uh, Bernie, close it out. The can the concentration yeah, camp you know rhetoric. What, Laura, uh, uh, what, ran, what do we what do we make of this? I ran Rikers Island for six years with 133,000 inmate admissions per year. I can tell you it's not an easy job, it's not an easy task. With the numbers that's coming into the country and the numbers that they have to process, we either need more resources or they have to stop it, period. And when, when we have to stop it, Congressman Duffy, this would require Democrats and Republicans working together. That would actually be solving the problem, but there is no sign, is there, that that's actually going to happen? Really quick. It's not going to happen because, because Democrats like this crisis. As President Trump says, you can resolve it in 15 minutes, close the loopholes, send money to, uh, to our detention centers to make sure we have the resources, and this thing is all over. Um, but Democrats uh, are unwilling to do that, so the crisis continues. And by the way, wouldn't it be nice if six months ago they would have recognized that we did have a crisis on the border yeah. instead of calling it a manufactured crisis? Well, that would have been great. And we, we, may, we may not be here today. Yeah, we're have. still doing that. We're still doing that. Guys, great conversation tonight. We appreciate all your voices.